All right, welcome back to another video on the channel, guys. We are back with another video. Today, I'm pretty excited about this video because this is gonna be the very first graphics tutorial on the channel in the new apartment. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to cut out an image so it becomes a PNG or a transparent image. So if you want a cutout of yourself or of, say, maybe a famous person, you can find an image online and I will show you guys how to cut it out for free in Pixlr. Now, I'm also gonna show you guys how to cut out maybe, say, a logo. So maybe you find a logo that you wanna use on the internet and you don't want that white background, you actually want it to be transparent. I will show you guys how to do that in the easiest and fastest way possible. But before we get too far into the video, if you guys haven't already liked and subscribed to the channel, make sure to go ahead and do so. Also guys, I definitely wanna get back in the swing of making these kind of tutorials. I know it helps out a ton of you guys, so I really do want to upload more. I pretty much know the ins and out of Pixlr E. Please let me know in the comment section down below what you guys want me to see done, and I will go ahead and show you guys how to do it in the easiest way possible. Also, if you are new here, um, I actually, went ahead and put all my Pixlr tutorials in a playlist. I will toss a little card up to the playlist if you guys want to click on that. Otherwise, at the end of the video, you guys can go to my channel, go to the playlist section and find that Pixlr playlist. I have a Pixlr video about the complete rundown of text and text options. And I also have a complete beginner's basics tutorial video for Pixlr as well in that playlist. So guys, definitely check that out. But yeah, that's enough rambling. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and jump right into Pixlr E. All right, guys, so we are in Pixlr E. Um, I don't ever do tutorials on Pixlr X. Uh, Pixlr X isn't much different than Pixlr E, so we're just gonna roll with Pixlr E today. So we're gonna start off with create new and whatever image that you guys are trying to get cut out, you're gonna wanna try to make the page as similar as you can so you don't have to stretch the image at all. I'm just gonna do 1920 by 1080. I'm gonna go ahead and click that and I'm going to click create. So the first thing you wanna do is find your image. Now for an example, as you guys see in the thumbnail, I'm actually just gonna use a picture of myself. Um, pretty much the only picture Picture that I have of myself like an actual decent picture um, but first thing you guys are gonna want to do is add image as layer and then you guys are gonna want to find that image which I believe is this one right here all right so guys we have our image loaded um, I'm gonna go ahead and go over some of the tools for you guys so the main tools you guys are gonna be using in this one is the lasso tool now the main ones you guys are gonna be using in Pixlr um, is not the free one, it's most likely polygon or magnetic. Now, as you guys know, the background has like a bunch of dynamic stuff, as you guys can see, like trees, um, all sorts of stuff like that. So the magnetic one isn't gonna be your best option here. Um, your best option is actually gonna be the polygonal one. Now, the polygonal one is actually um, one where you click and it creates a point, and then you click again and it creates a point, and then you click each time, and then once you go back to the beginning, it's actually gonna create that. Um, and then you can actually like copy and paste it into another one or whatever, cut it out, whatever you guys choose. Um, but we're just go ahead and hit select, deselect, but this is actually the one we're gonna be used to cut out this image. So we're gonna click down here and we're just gonna kind of go along the outside as close as we can. Now I would suggest you guys to zoom in as much as you can. Um, it's gonna be a lot easier to cut out when you zoom in. Um, and what you guys can also do in between points is go ahead and scroll down or scroll to the side. Um, then you guys can still add more points after, which is super nice. But as you guys can see, we're just gonna go along this edge. Um, it doesn't have to be super perfect. Uh, you can always go and after you cut it out, um, use the erase tool and erase um, some of the blemishes on it. Um, but we're just gonna tediously go through here. Um, it may seem super tedious to you guys, but it's definitely gonna be the best way for you guys to actually um, cut out an image that's actually really nice. I'm gonna scroll up here a bit. Go along here a little bit, go over the hat. But the curves are gonna be the hardest part, most likely, um, especially with the polygonal lasso. But you kinda of just wanna make sure that each of these corners, like in between, are clicked. So you kinda of just get that clean cutout. Zoom out a little bit. All right, so we are on the bottom. Uh, what we're gonna go ahead and do is click on that beginning one click again and it's gonna kind of create that little cutout. So we're gonna make sure we wanna have the layer clicked that we have uh, edited on. We're gonna hit edit and we're gonna hit cut and then it's gonna cut that image right from there, um, right where you have it cut out. As you guys can see, I did an all right job cutting it out. I've done better jobs in the past, um, but what you guys can do is go ahead and delete that last layer, edit and then click paste and then it's gonna paste your cutout, which I actually didn't do a terrible job uh, this time. So now what you guys can do here is if you zoom it up a bit, um, you can go through here 
and you can kind of make little alterations to your guys' choosing. Um, if I could find the eraser here, there it is. And if you guys want to use the eraser, you guys can just to kind of get rid of some of those like pieces that you guys messed up. Um, it is pretty tedious, but in the end, you guys are going to get a nice cutout. Kind of just go along the edges if you want, make it nice. As you guys can see, it's looking pretty good. Now, I thought this was important because I know a lot of people use like cutouts of themselves on banners for Twitter, on banners for YouTube, on profile pictures, if you guys want a custom background behind you. And I think a lot of social media people now are using uh, pictures of themselves in a lot of their uh, artwork. So I think this is really good for a lot of you guys who either can't afford Photoshop or your PC can't handle Photoshop. This is a super easy way, um, just an easy website to hop on and go ahead and actually cut out your image. Now, if you guys want to go ahead and save this as a transparent image that you can use for the future whenever you want, you're going to go to File, Save, uh, make sure you have PNG, name it a cutout or anything like that. I already have it saved as a cutout, so I'm not actually going to save it, but it should say .png, and if it says that, then it will be transparent background. So you guys can put it over any other background that you guys like. Um, then just click Download, and it will download your transparent image. So we're going to delete that. Now, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to cut out a logo that you may have found on the internet that you want to use in a thumbnail or a banner or anything like that. Maybe if you guys want social media icons and you can't find a transparent one, you can do this the same exact way. It works with anything with a solid background behind it. So this way is actually super, super easy. What we're going to do as an example is going to go ahead and load up an actual uh, Nike logo. This works with any pretty much any logo, but I thought Nike would be just an easy way to show you guys how this works. So what you guys are going to do here is you guys are going to want to click on this one select right here. And you guys are going to want to click on the background and it's actually going to select everything from the solid background behind. And you guys can click delete and then select, deselect, and it is that easy. Now you guys are going to see um, it has like a little bit of like white around it um, and it has a little bit of a border. So we're going to go ahead and crop it down and crop out that border because we don't need that and then we're gonna click apply and we got the cutout of the logo here and as, as you guys can see it doesn't do a perfect job um, as you guys can see if i zoom in here there's a little bit of pixels here so what you guys can do to get rid of those little um bumps or whatever is if you click on it and then you go to i believe it is edit fill if i fill it with its regular color black it's actually going to fill up those borders, which I think is a really easy option for a lot of you guys. And I actually had a lot of questions about this in the last video. So it gives you kind of a way to work with pretty much any logo that you guys find on the internet, um, a way to actually make it look nice um, and not have to use Photoshop. So if you guys want to save this as a PNG, you're just going to hit file, save, and the same thing as that .png. Click download and download it to your desktop or any other place that you guys want to download. If you guys found this video helpful, make sure to go ahead, leave a like, subscribe, and again, leave a comment down below future videos and future ideas you guys want to see on Pixlr or maybe Photoshop or other softwares that you guys use. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.